Sub Super Farm Gwyndon is currently the best strategy in Bloons Sea Battles 2. And a big reason behind this is because of the Energizer, which reduces ability cooldowns everywhere by 20%, which pairs super well with the IMF alone, which is currently the farming meta because all your IMF alone abilities will come back faster. So today, we're hopping some whole masters games and show you how to use this. All right, guys, our first match of today's video, ladies and gentlemen, is on the map of Banana Depot with the strategy Sub Super Farm and Gwyndon. We're going to start with our Gwyndolin, of course, right about here. They're starting with their um, tax shooter, it looks like, interesting enough, okay? And I think they brought Cyber Quincy as well, so, but my strategy here is actually really good with the IMF loan farming, so that's gonna be the plan today. I haven't really ran it on this map much in specific, because this is obviously a pretty difficult map. I'm not sure if we'll be able to win with Super Monkey on this map, so that'll be, that'll be pretty interesting. But let's get my submarine down here. I wanna place it, okay, there we go, we got it down. I was trying to place it in a really specific spot, as high as possible in this pool. Because you want to place it really high in the pool, and I'll show you why later. But opponent started with their Quincy and their Tax Shooter, it looks like. So that's fine. So twin guns on this. Twin guns on that. We're good. And we're fine to uh, continue eco on now, ladies and gentlemen. No no fear over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they removed the obstacles. So they're going to start saving up for their first farm, I think, is what my opponent's plan is going to be. We're sending some yellows then to try to maybe force a couple of leaks on their side. But I want to place it as high in this pool as possible. Um, because I'm going to get air burst on this. And if I have it on last targeting, the higher in the pool, the better line of fire it's going to have, if that makes sense. So that was kind of my thought process there with the sub placement, which is why I placed it a little bit later than you typically would like. But we can get our farm down here in a second. Now, since this is a little bit more of a difficult map, I am going to be going for IMF loans, but I'm not going to go for the bank early. I'm going to go for a bank probably like around 13 or 14 will be my plan here. A little bit later on the bank. I think it's going to be a solid plan of attack. It's also, yeah, target my cocktail right there. We we'll increase production on this in a little bit. Don't know what their loadout is. It's probably attack whiz farm, attack mortar farm. The good thing is both of those loadouts I do outlast. So if we just take it late, I should be in a pretty solid position here. Yeah, they're sending me some white balloons. Let's use cocktail here. Yeah, they get their blade shooter up nicely done. And then when cocktail dies out, I'm going to need my airburst starts up. Airburst starts. Oh, it still isn't. It still shoots into the obstacle. It's fine though. You can still see it's shooting a little bit too far upwards, and it's getting blocked by this obstacle, which is not what I wanted. But I guess I placed the submarine as high as I possibly could. So I mean, I don't really know what else I could have done better there. Let's go for a second sub, maybe, just to add a little bit of defensive support, so I don't leak as much. Would not be a bad idea. Because this sub's not doing that well. A lot of the ops, a lot of the projectiles are getting kind of blocked. Unfortunately, we use cocktail as well. I think my plan here is going to be to go for a what's it called? A marketplace. Now, you might be wondering, Ryan, why would you go for a marketplace early instead of going for a plantation? Well, I'm probably going to sell this later on like round 14 or something for a bank. And when I'm going to sell it pretty early, the marketplace is better than the plantation because the marketplace has increased sell back. So that's my um thought process here with the with the farm upgrades. Okay, one more eco boost, one more banana. There we go. Get that up. That's my thought process, gentlemen. Okay, they're sending me some of that. I think we're good against that. Yeah, we got air burst on this guy. We're chilling. I can afford the reactor as well. I'll have to just sell this sub. Zol. Wait, do I have enough to sell the sub? I don't think so. Is that good? There we go. Yeah, we're chilling. Look at that. And we'll keep this guy on strong. Probably fine. Okay, perfect start for us so far, in all honesty. They got their Necromancer up, so they're chilling on their side. But we're alive. We got the marketplace up. Now all we're going to do is start saving up for that bank. We're going to sell this into a bank. I think I'm fine against that. Oh, crap. We're good? We're good. I forgot about leads. This should have been a heat tip darts because my Gwendolyn doesn't buff my reactor with the placements is the thing. Okay, we use Cocktail here. Cocktail should be able to defend this because the purple balloons don't reach it. Yeah, the reactor and stuff hit the... That's good. Ballistic missile. We're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. That got a little scary though. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we're going to boost this. Yeah, that's not going to get through. We defend everything on boost here. My opponent ended up all out immediately. They knew it was over. 
They knew it was over, but this defends infinite balloons on boost pretty much. All right. Well, I'll catch y'all in the next game, dude. This is the best strategy in Balloon Sea Battles 2. I'm telling you right now. Sub Super Farm is crazy good with this IMF loan meta right now. All right, guys, our third match with this strategy on the map stands of time. So I got a little bit of a better map here, thankfully. So should have a better time with the load overall. We're facing yellow. I think they brought Star Captain Jericho. So we end up seeing what their load is. It's Ace, actually. Ace with Star Captain Jericho. Is it Ace Farm Engineer? Maybe. Which, honestly, I don't think would be a very good loadout with this IMF alone thing. Ace Farm Engineer is an excellent loadout normally, but with the new IMF loan meta, I don't think it would be very solid. So we'll see. We'll see how this ends up playing out for my opponent here. They cry. Okay, let's send them some spaced greens. Let's get barb darts. Oh, they missed their round one um, Jericho. That's definitely a bit of a problem for my opponent. They got their Jericho now, it looks like. So it is Star Captain, as I thought. Um, Do I go for an early bank this game? This is my question of the day. Is it is it an early bank type game, or is it a later bank type game? Facing Jericho always complicates things a little bit more. But I think I'll go for early. I think I'll try to go for an early bank here. Be the plan. Okay, we forced Pineapple Express on their side, so I forced defense. I think I'm going to chill with the eco now and go for farm upgrades. We'll try getting like a round 7 or round 8 bank will be the plan. Um, Okay, they get their farm down as well. Let's get this to greater production. Nice. We'll get twin guns on this. We're chilling. Might leak a little bit, but who cares? Just a couple of leaks, ladies and gentlemen. Never hurt nobody. I should be able to get a second farm before this round ends, is the idea. Yeah, they get a round 5 steal on me as well, so I'll have to... Well, I can't really avoid the steal. It's, it's uh, Star Captain. Yeah, there's no avoiding the steal, but... I just gotta be wary that they do have a steal. Let's use Cocktail. Perfect. They need to get Bomb Race up. They get Bomb Race, but look at how many leaks they had. Holy cow. Leaks galore, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we got our air burst up. Let's upgrade this to great production there. Perfect. And now we're going to start saving up for my bank. Will be the plan. We got valuable bananas on that guy. Nice. Go for a second submarine in the range here. They should be able to handle these balloons pretty well. For us. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do bank round eight. And hopefully we can do it without selling my other farm is going to be the plan. Bank round eight without selling a farm is going to be my entire idea here. I think I'll be able to afford it. I'm not sure if I get $2,000 by the time round eight's over. I might. I might not. We'll see. We'll see if I get enough monies. Hopefully I do. Probably just end up boosting this round. No way. I'm literally a couple doors off. We're selling this for it. We're selling it. Cocktail. We're fine. We're good. I cashed out the farm. I cashed out the bank, but I didn't sell the farm. A little bit of a rough start, I'll be honest. The Jericho camos mixed with his region rushes made it a little bit wacky there, but we're good. Okay, they have Ace NG farm as expected. Our target cocktail right there. Let's get this up to a marketplace, I think. They're gonna rush me here, I think, for sure. Keep this on strong. Yeah, they're getting their bank up, it looks like. That's fine. I'm F alone. This should be able to fend nicely. Yep, we're good. Easy defense. All right, we have the life advantage, right? And we have Super Monkey in our loadout. So we just out late game them with the life advantage here. So there's nothing to worry about. I don't know what their game plan is to win this, but I'm in a really good position. The fact that we survived their early game rushes while um, keeping my bank up and stuff puts me in a really good spot here. We have three IMF loans now. 
We'll just keep spamming them. They just got their first I'm a flown up. I should fit another one here. There we go. There it is. There it is. We still have two boosts left as well, which is really nice. Max farms on this map, I think, are 10 farm spots. So that'll be um the plan here. 10, 10 IMFs. Well, they're sending me that. Shouldn't really do anything. They're sending me a follow-up one. Now we should be able to defend this as well. Yep, we're good. Easy defense for Ryan Mahalik. Yeah, I want to place these really cons smartly. Really smartly here. One right here, and then we're going to upgrade it as well. Go one right under it. Now, I do want to fit, fit the other fifth tier farms as well. Um, the IMF loans are great from producing money. Um, but the other fifth tier farms, like the Monkey Wall Street and the Banana Central, are still worth it to get on the map. So, we will end up getting those as our last two farm spots. The Monkey Wall Street and Banana Central. Yeah, they're sending me a fortification BFB here. Oh no, I'm so scared. We'll go for a Dark Knight here. I don't even think I need to cross path the Dark Knight, to be honest, to defend this. They're gonna just Firestorm. We'll just start saving up for the Banana Central. Yeah, that defends really easily. That defends super easily here. Okay, how much are we cashing out? This one's 16k for the cash out, so this one's close. Um, 10k, yeah, 20k now. Okay, we're almost to that banana central. That I'm looking for. I got it up. Are they gonna send me ZMGs? I don't know what their plan is here. We're $128,000 in debt currently. I actually might want to just go for a Monkey Nomics on one of these. The Monkey Nomics is good because it makes the cooldown faster. The Monkey Nomics cooldown is 50 seconds while the I'm a Flown's cooldown is 90. Okay, this one's at, one of them's at 16k, it looks like. All right, so this one will be the next one to collect. Collect you at 20k. All right. Upgrade this. We don't want to have my true sun god right here, probably. Well, actually, oh, I completely forgot I need the Energizer. I should have gotten this up before. The Energizer would have been something I should have prioritized, to be honest. After I got up all my IMF loans and stuff, before getting up my tier 5 farms, I should have gotten the Energizer first. Would have been the better um, the better farming route for me to take. It's fine, though. We get Energizer now. Because the Energizer is so important to give me these abilities at a 20% faster rate. Very, very important. Okay, my true Sun God will go right here, I think. Trying to find the ideal placement. Right about there. And then we'll get max sacrifices in it as well. Start dark shifting this guy over. Anything else at 20k? This one's at 20k. This one, these two are at 16k a pop. Okay, so those are close to the amount we need. We have support in here. We have military in here. And I need to dark shift this guy. And then we need one more super monkey with it. And this is max magic. So we support magic and military all in the range now, which is perfect. Perfecto. Okay, these are 20k now. Let's collect these. I'm pretty sure the monkey nomics has a 30k max capacity. So we don't want to collect we don't want to collect this guy at 20k. We want to collect it at 30k. I feel like I've played decently this game, but a big mistake I've made as I previously stated was getting my energizer up late. I'd probably have significantly more money right now if I didn't get that guy up late. Okay, he's going to spam BADs at me starting round 30, I bet. So we're going to have to defend a lot of them. I'd like to get a uh, true sun god pretty soon. They got the true sun got up. Now 
Now we start spamming IMFs again after we got it up. And I don't think they can kill me, guys, now. I think we've won the game. That's how you do it. You eventually get your true sun got up, and then you just spam um, sun avatars with it. By the way, I think I repaid all my debt when I was selling those farms so they didn't get sacrificed in the true sun god. I think all of my debt got repaid, which is actually kind of crazy to think about. Well, we're going back into debt again, but yeah. There's no way my opponent can kill me, and the opponent can't, can also not rejuvenate lives with their loadout, to my knowledge, so... I think that's a GG, ladies and gents. I don't know what their game plan's gonna be here. I can also probably kill them if I spam BDs at them, so we might consider doing something like of that sort. We'll see. We'll see where the um the game takes us here. I wonder if I could kill them with like ZMGs, dude. If I just send them infinite ZMGs. Well I can't I don't even have that much money is the thing though. I spent so much money on my true sun god. And I'm kind of broke right now. No cap. No cappuccine. Kind of broke. Oh, the true sun god actually makes you cash too. Like 2,000. I don't know how much the true sun god actually makes you per round. But it makes you money. Are they spamming sprockets on their side? That's hilarious. Acting like that's going to defend stuff. That's funny. Okay. I mean, the ultra boosted flying fortress might do some work. I'm not going to lie. But the sprockets aren't going to do anything. Okay, we'll send them a couple. Just to see how they deal with them. Just to test the waters a little bit. These are going to be really hard to pop though. It's around 36 fortified bads. Even though the Flying Fortress is probably max ultra boosted and stuff. It's still going to be difficult. The Sprockets do basically nothing though. The Sprockets are basically just cosmetic at this point. Oh yeah, they're dead 100% here. 100%. They don't defend. Okay, they're sending me. That's, um... Let's shred this, ladies and gentlemen. We'll boost in Firestorm. These should not go anywhere at all, pretty much. Maybe halfway up the map, and then they'll get popped. Yeah. I don't even have very many Sun Avatars on the map either, because I rushed them with a bunch of BEDs. I think they've given up, bro. Dude, this sub super farm strategy is just way too good. The Energizer to make you more money. You got the Super Monkey for late game. You have the military sacrifice on the sub. Did they DC? They may have. All right. GG. This is the meta strategy, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, our last match of the video is against the tech here on the map, Sands of Time. Same strategy as always. Now, they brought Jericho here, so I assume they're going some sort of aggressive type loadout. We'll have to wait and see what it is in specific. I'm starting with my uh, Gwendolyn, of course. They're going Dartling, actually. Dartling, Dartling farm super Jericho. So, in this matchup, I just don't want to leak. It's going to be very important. Not leaking is going to be very important. If I can force leaks on my opponent, that's going to be great for me as well. But the most important thing is just not, to be, not going to be to leak. So, we'll play a little bit more defensively here. Since I know they have Super Monkey and they have a good late game. Most likely they have Super Monkey. We'll play very def more money invested in defense just to make sure I don't leak. It's going to be part of the goal. All right, let's get twin, uh, Barbed Arts here. Okay, we actually forced them to leak. That's great. All right. Got a decent amount of leaks on their side. I'll take that every day of the week. We want to force their powerful darts here. All right, there's the powerful darts forced. Perfect. Yeah, they don't have life rejuvenation because they have Benjamin. So there's no way they have Dartling Super Farm and they can rejuvenate lives, which is exactly what we're um, thinking here. Now, this match, I'm probably not going to go for an early bank just because I have to play a little bit more defensively and it can't leak. So you won't see an early bank play come out of me. Also, we're going to stall our farmer because we want to avoid their steals. So not having a farmer on the map is kind of important for that. Okay, avoid the steal. We upgrade our farm to the bottom path. That'll be a marketplace anyways, so it's not really bad that I upgrade that at the end of the day. Now we just save up for a lot of defense, because I'm going to need to obviously not try to leak. Well, I can, I can leak actually now. I just can't leak more than they leak is the thing. I can't leak more than they leak. But leaking's not terrible for me here. Yeah, twin guns with the airburst start should do pretty solid here for me. Defensively. 
All right, they get a second steal in round seven. Actually, I do want to avoid that steal as well. So I might not go straight for the marketplace. I might go for a um a second farm that I can upgrade to avoid the steal. So it's kind of weird that I went for banana salvage here. I'm going for the second farm. A little bit of a misplay on my end, but it's fine. I did end up leaking, but that's totally fine. Crap, I didn't avoid that well, did I? It avoided a little bit on the back end of it, but not a lot on the front end. Okay, we're going to stop my eco right there at 500. We don't need to go for much eco at all here. 500 eco is enough for me. Crap, did I leak too much? Oh my gosh, I'm leaking. I'm good, I'm good. Nothing to worry about. We're fine. We still have the life advantage. I completely forgot about camo balloons for a little bit, but we're fine. We have the life advantage. That's all that matters. Okay, this will be a marketplace in a second. A little bit of a rough start for me, I'm not going to lie, but we're chilling now. Send him some leads. Cocktail should be right there. Yeah, I can't really avoid the steel well, can I? That's fine. Bank is up. The bank is open. The bank is open, gentlemen. They rush me around 13. I just boost against it. Probably. I can afford ballistic missile as well. I can ballistic and boost. Ballistic and boost if they rush me. Now they're going for their own bank. Yeah, we have the life advantage here, so I don't really have any need to feet worry here, I don't think. We're in a really good spot. I'm going to cash this out when I have enough money. Yeah. yeah, we're good against that. Let's cash you out now. Perfect. Now I can rush them after I um after I use the IMF loan. Well, or I could just take it late and GG run 40 them. I might just take it late. I could probably rush them and kill them or cause some havoc on their side, but I don't know. I kinda wanna well, let's just let's just rush them. Are they good? Nicely done, okay. I'm going to re-rush them here. I'm about to get this ability. I think they're screwed here. They don't have boost or rocket storm ability. Yeah, they're screwed. That's just why sub super farm is the best strategy, guys. I don't know what else to say about it. I just completely outplayed the best strategy in the game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Had some aggressive games in there. Had a late game in there as well. So a little bit of a variety. Let me know if you enjoyed. As always, put code Brian Hawk in the Bowser Time Shop. That's it for today. Run like out. Peace, lads.